Morgan antibody disease does not have any FDA approved drugs for treatment, but this could be about to change. A new drug called Rosanulixizumab is set to be trialled with Morgan antibody disease patients as a preventative treatment to stop attacks from happening. So what is Rosanulixizumab? Rosanulixizumab, often referred to as Rosamab, is an investigative humanised monoclonal antibody which basically means that it is an experimental human created antibody. Rosamab is currently being trialled for use on patients with conditions involving an autoimmune response. But now the first clinical trial to test it on MOG antibody disease patients has just started. But before we get started, I would like to thank Dr. Michael Levy, Becca Salke and the MOG project for reviewing the script for this video. Michael and Becca are involved in running the Rosamab study at Mass General Hospital in Boston, USA. So how does this new treatment work? Rosamab is a drug that blocks the activity of the FCRN molecule, which normally preserves antibodies in the bloodstream. FCRN is a molecule located on blood vessel walls, and blood vessel walls routinely scoop up plasma in the blood in order to clean it, and the FCRN molecule holds antibodies in place to prevent them from being removed in the cleaning process, therefore keeping them in the blood. When Rosamab is used, it blocks the antibody recycling pathway, so the antibodies in the blood get degraded quickly, dropping a patient's antibodies by 70% in a day. By the end of the week, new antibodies will replace the old ones, so this treatment will have to be repeated each week in order to continue renewing antibodies. Now because autoantibodies such as the ones in MOG antibody disease are found in low frequency in the blood, this drug will hopefully result in the reduction of harmful antibodies too. But this includes all antibodies, not just the MOG antibodies. The Rosamab treatment is 4 milliliters in volume. Therefore this treatment needs to be administered as a subcutaneous infusion over 15 minutes. In this process, a patch is placed on the skin, which has a small needle on it. This patch is then connected with a thin tube to a small pump, which will pump the 4 milliliters of treatment into the patient. So how does the Rosamab trial work? The aim of this study is to try and prevent relapses in MOG antibody disease. The sponsor of the trial is UCB Biopharma, SRL. And something also important to note is this is the first ever phase 3 clinical trial for MOG antibody disease. Phase 3 meaning that it's the last phase of testing where a drug is tested to see if it is safe, beneficial and an effective treatment. The Rosamab trial is a randomised trial with a placebo arm, which means that half of the patients enrolled on the trial will be given Rosamab, but the other half will be given an infusion with no effect but the patients in the trial will not know which one they have been given. This trial is taking place in 50 sites across 20 countries all around the world, and they are hoping to enrol 104 patients in total by the end of the study. Initial recruitment for the trial started in December 2021, but still more sites and patients are being added. So who can actually take part in this clinical trial? Firstly, you must be between the ages of 18 and 89 years old. For this trial, the patient must have presented with either optic neuritis, transverse myelitis, acute disseminated encephalomyelitis, or MOG antibody associated encephalitis, brainstem encephalitis, or any of those presentations combined. A patient must also test positive for MOG antibodies using a cell-based assay at the screening process. A participant must have a history of relapsing MOG antibody disease with at least one documented relapse over the last 12 months prior to randomization. And finally, a patient must be clinically stable at the time of the screening visit and screening period. So who is actually excluded from taking place in this trial? Anybody who has been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, AQP for positive NMO, SD, if a participant has a clinically relevant infection or has a serious infection within six weeks prior to the first dose of the treatment, then they will not be allowed to participate. Anybody who tests positive for AQP4 antibodies at screening, and lastly, those who have taken rituximab in the last six months will not be able to participate in the trial. Participants will need to be in office for at least six months prior 
and their B-cell levels must be back to normal before screening. If you're enjoying the video and want to see more videos about Morgantowity disease clinical trials, please hit the like button and subscribe. These videos take much more planning than usual, but if enough people like them then I will continue to keep making them. Liking this video also helps promote it on YouTube so we can continue to raise awareness for Morgantowity disease. My question of the day is, if you are currently stable with your Mog Antwoody disease preventative treatment, that means you haven't relapsed in the last 12 months, would you consider taking part in a clinical trial to test a new Mog Antwoody disease treatment? Let me know your answer down in the comment section below, and I'll also leave my answer down there too. So where exactly is this clinical trial taking place? At the time of filming this video, there are currently 31 sites in 13 countries conducting the trial. Currently there are six sites in the USA, which are Scottsdale, Arizona, Palo Alto, California, Aurora, Colorado, Peoria, Illinois, Kansas City in Kansas, and Boston in Massachusetts. And for those in Europe, there are currently 11 sites operating in Europe across many different countries. The sites in Europe include Belgium, Czech Republic, France, Germany, Italy, Spain and Switzerland and there are also 12 sites in Asia including 8 in Japan, 2 in the Republic of Korea and 2 in Turkey. Also there is a site operating in Mexico and one in Australia too but more sites could be announced in the future so keep checking the study page to see if any more pop up. So now for some frequently asked questions about the study. What happens if a patient relapses during the trial? Now the trial is designed to prevent relapses, but it is using a placebo arm, which means that there is MOG antibody disease patients who will not be on any treatment and therefore at risk of relapse. Patients are only allowed to have one relapse in the study. If a patient has a relapse and it is regarded to be a relapse, then the randomization will be finished for that patient. They will then be treated with an acute treatment. After you have been treated for the relapse, you will be then guaranteed rosemab from then on until the end of the study. You won't know whether you've initially been on the placebo or on the treatment, but from then on you will definitely be on the treatment. And if you do not relapse, the double blind study period lasts two and a half years. But if everything looks good and Rosamab prevents relapses, all participants will be able to receive the treatment if they wish. So how long will this trial last and when can we expect results? The trial is expected to take three and a half years in total and we'll be expecting results to be published in 2025. Where can I sign up and find more information about the trial? I will leave a link to the trial in the video description below so you can check it out for yourselves. Information in this video may change. Whilst we wait for the results of the trial, why don't you check out the symptoms and presentations of Morgantowood disease in this video here.